Is she going nuts? Is she going? Girl, you're meant to change into a costume. G'day Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Goddess. So this episode, we're going to have some fun with the girls, with the two eldest daughters because they are a little bit bored in this big old house and especially Aphrodite, just look at her face. She is just so bored. They are going to hit the town and maybe go to a party or something like that. Uh, hopefully there's something going on, but I really want them to meet up with some people. So Artemis has some ideas of clues to look for, but she doesn't really know exactly what she's looking for. She kind of has a sense of maybe something to do with serpents or dragons. So she's definitely going to keep her eye out. As I said in the previous episode, she didn't really find much more evidence or any clues besides that towards where her father had gone. The whole office that we had unlocked is in shambles, so she still needs to go through it all, but from what she could tell, it's pretty much just junk that her dad had kind of gathered over the years. But you know what? She probably had a lot of fun with that anyways. Uh, so here we have Aphrodite. She's pretty cranky right now, not having the best time. She's not enjoying school. She really did like talking to Orion last night, but it didn't really transpire into anything serious. And she is feeling lovelorn. So I guess she wanted to kiss him or maybe she wanted to flat. And obviously he was sort of more like friend zoning, just wanted to be there for her sort of thing. I don't know, but uh, I hope that she can meet maybe some other boys tonight. I'm not sure. But anyway, she's got to go to school now. So she's going to head off. Where is little Asti? Oh my gosh. Hi, little Asti. Oh, isn't she so cute? I love Asti so much. And her little cowgirl outfit, like pajamas. Adorable. Okay, sweetie, so you need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you're gonna cry? Really? Come on, we're going to get you to go to the party because you're a big girl now and then your big sis is... Oh, she's doing some sit-ups? Okay, man, she is just so active. But we're gonna get her to give Asti some food in a little bit too. Oh my gosh, Asti, what have you done? <gasps> she's made a bit of a mess here. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is happening here? Uh, why was Asti being picked up? I, I don't know why that was happening, but okay. You cannot go to work yet. Oh, I don't want her to miss work. Uh, are you sure she should? Uh, well, actually, I think that Asti will get fed at daycare. So we're going to do a no. She's going to head to work. We're going to actually send her to send Asteria to daycare. And hopefully that will work out fine. Also, by the way, look at this. <laughs> It's broken. We're going to have to deal with that later. Send to daycare. She should be fine at daycare. I'm hoping that she'll get a hunger up. No, come on. Oh my gosh, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, she reached imagination skill level five. Awesome. That is fantastic news. She needs some more fun and she's also needing to go to sleep soon. So uh, where is some of her other toys? Oh, we have one here. Okay, let's go ahead and get her to uh, shape help. So we are actually going to wait for Artemis to come home from work. She comes back at six. So in the meantime, Aphrodite can go and help her little sister out. What is happening here? Is Asti really going to walk all the way? Seriously? Okay, this is actually happening though. <laughs> Why? Oh man. So Aphrodite didn't do her homework 
yesterday. Yeah, she's very cranky. But it said that she was like going through a rebellious stage. So hopefully she's not that bad. She's just super bored right now. You know what? We're going to get her to go on the computer instead. Doesn't look like she really wants to play with her little sister. I feel like Asti just kind of goes unsupervised a lot in this big home. Like... They're definitely growing up kind of wild, these kids. So, especially Asti, because she's so young. So, it's going to be interesting seeing how she, like, ages up. And I would like to give her some traits that aren't exactly normal, because she isn't really having a normal uh, childhood. It isn't the worst childhood, but it definitely isn't normal. So, Aphrodite, gotta get her fun up. We're just gonna speed ahead a little bit. Oh man, she really needs food. We're going to get Aphrodite to give her sister some food. Uh, let's get her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That sounds cute. And then Asti will go to bed because she definitely... Oh no, girl, girl. Man, she can move. Did you just see her potter along? Whoa, it was just like little, little bubble steps, but they were like so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get us some grub. Get some grub in your belly, little Asti. And then we should get her to go to bed. Maybe Aphrodite will read her to sleep. Yeah, girl, you, you are going to go and play some more Blick Block while you wait for Asti to eat. And it is just about to be home time for Artemis. I'm really excited for her to be back. Because uh, then we can get going with the two girls. Oh, I just realized that means that Asti will probably go to daycare. She should be fine. She should be fine. It seems like when the kids go to daycare, the daycare takes care of all of their needs and stuff. So... I don't need to worry about her too much. I might get Artemis to take her out of the high chair right now. So uh, let out. We're just going to let her out. And these two sisters, man, they really need some fun. Girl, you need to eat. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> we need to worry about this later. I just can't right now, okay? Let's do open. And we're going to do some pancakes. Let's go and eat some pancakes. Are we going to eat them? Yeah, come on. It's already just about to be 7 o'clock. It's going to be late already. Come on, put her down. Put Asteria down. Well, I'm thinking, Aphrodite, you can go and get some food elsewhere. I know you are just not having the best time ever. Well, we're going to go. I'm sorry. We're going to do it. And... Hopefully, Asti will be okay. Their needs aren't dreadful. They could be better, but they're not dreadful. So, my plan is to get the girls to go to the Theater of Dionysus. I think that's how you pronounce that. You guys always correct me on how to pronounce these Greek names. Uh, but I'm just going to call it Theater of Dion for short. We're going to head on over there with them. Uh, we're just going to go with Artemis. So that means Asti will go to daycare, fingers crossed, that it's done that automatically. Okay, we are here at the Theater of Dion, and this is such a cool place. I did not create this myself. I actually want to do a video on its own, just showcasing the creators of a lot of the builds that I used in this world of the god <laughs> in this goddess world uh but oh look we already have some people coming over yay awesome and i don't think we've met uh psyche but we have met oliver montgomery before so we'll go and talk to him i'm pretty sure he's orion's dad i just friggin love this place how Gorgeous, right? This giant theater here, like an old school one. And then we have sort of a little pantheon right here, which has got club upstairs. Pretty sure there's a club downstairs too. Oh, we have a DJ there already. Uh, over here we have bathrooms, a little kitchen, 
at a huge TV and then this awesome little jazz club. Like, look how cool this is. I don't know if it's a jazz club. It probably is like a little underground hip place. I love it. It's just so great. And we have like soundproofing on the wall too. Love it. Oh my gosh. Look at this love room. Oh yeah. It's all windows. Like people could actually perv in there. No. Okay. Well, I'm really in love with this. This is honestly one of my favorite lots in this world. It's just amazing. So let's get the girls to go and talk to some people. Is she at daycare? Yes. Asti is at daycare. So Aphrodite, you should go ahead and introduce yourself. So Psyche is a teen. Let's go and do cheerful introduction. She doesn't have many girlfriends, so it would be nice to meet someone new. And Artemis is going to go ahead and talk to Oliver because she's just going to try to see if he knows anything. Like, oh, oh my gosh. And Cole is here too. Oh my goodness. What? The two big families of Windenburg are here. So I'm not sure if I told you guys this, but the Montgomery's and the Lions are actually kind of like feudal families. So it's very weird to see these two together, but I'm guessing it's bound to happen. Like Windenburg isn't as big as it seems. So let's just kind of focus on Oliver here. Brighton Day, uh, tell unbelievable stories. So she's gonna let him know that she had actually found a secret like old office that her father had in the house. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna be very intrigued by this and maybe even a little bit antsy. Like he's going to try to tiptoe around these questions. Oh, where is she going? I guess she couldn't get any info out of him, so she's gonna leave him be for a bit. Wait, did Psyche? Oh my gosh, for a second there, I thought Psyche was a vampire because of her skin tone, but it's just the lighting in here. But anyways, where is our girl, Aphrodite? There are so many people here she could talk to. Keep talking to... Psyche, tell a dramatic story. You know what? We could dance with her too. Uh, actions? Where else can we do? I don't see it anywhere. Actions? No, not really seeing it. Uh, so where is Artemis? Okay, Artemis is there. Here is the eldest lion daughter. So there's only one daughter in the family. And her name is Athena. So a lot of you guys are really excited to see more Greek named characters. And a lot of you really wanted Athena. And yes, of course I was going to have Athena. So Athena has been here all along. We just haven't met her. Let's do boost our family. So really she's just going to explain like we are the Belvedere's and we live in this big mansion. It's a little bit crazy and abandoned and stuff, but she's kind of on the stage. She's like, oh, I'm interested. Ask about day. What else could we ask her about? Um, discuss logic puzzles. Oh, she, re <gasps> she really doesn't want to talk either. Why does this always happen? Well, at least Aphrodite is having a good time talking to Psyche. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. Let's go friendly introduction. Oh, where are they all going? They must be like going upstairs. No? Not sure where everyone is going. Are they going over here? Are there any other people that we could talk to? I'm not into, oh, they're over here. Oh my gosh, these two. Feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Oh my gosh, Aphrodite. I'll always love you. Yes. Thanks for the advice. Artemis has advised Aphrodite, affecting her character values. Emotional control decreases. What? Empathy increases. What? What? That was so weird. Why would it decrease? Man, 
I really feel like these two would be having a bit of like a weird hush hush power play kind of conversation right now and this lady's like please just kill me now <laughs> but these two are a little bit awkward they're like pretending to smile or something they don't really get along so uh where are our girls Artemis is over here talking to Psyche awesome Aphrodite is gonna go to bed because she can. She's gonna fall asleep. Really, girl? She isn't feeling too great, is she? Well, are there any other people who've arrived here that we can talk to? I think that's it, really. Well, I might as well get her to keep talking to Psyche, um, bright and day, and maybe we'll get her to dance battle with Athena? Okay, we're gonna get her to dance battle actually with Athena, then that will be great. I really want Artemis to continue talking to these two. I, I reckon she's gonna crash this weird little thing they have going on. Let's go Brighton Day to Oliver. I don't think we should have Brighton Dayed with uh, Cole there. He's not really a nice guy. Let's also do get to know. Can she not get over there or something? Okay, she's there. That was so strange. And now Aphrodite is roaming around in a nightgown. What a weirdo. Oh my gosh. Well, Athena is ready. I'm ready too. I hope she changes her clothing. Is she seriously just gonna like be in her nightgown? That's gonna be so awkward. But she looks so pretty still. Like, damn girl. Uh, yeah, my game is not having fun. Some people were saying that with the recent update, their games have been, like, really mucking up. And that's super bad for me because my computer is already laggy. Okay, this is happening. She's in a nightgown. And, yeah. <laughs> I just can't even. Where are they going? Downstairs? Come on, Athena. Come on. Uh, so over here, how are these two going? Doesn't look that great. Anonymous is very cranky, a bit frustrated with Oliver. I guess she feels like he's, I don't know, he's avoiding her questions. So she's going to vent to him and complain about problems because I feel like he would be kind of an understanding character. He has a family of his own and he is a very fatherly type. So I guess he would feel bad. He's not as bad as Cole, even though he is one of the top families in Windenburg. He isn't as like vindictive as Cole. What happened with their dance party? Did it just not happen? It didn't even happen. I don't think it happened. Show off moves. Let's do a uh, dance battle. Let's try to do it again. That was so weird. Actually, you know what? We'll try with Psyche because now it's popping up. I don't know why it wasn't popping up before. Uh, outfits. Let's get her to change into something a lot nicer. Maybe her party outfit. She's just not having a great night. She... Oh, my game is so laggy, guys. It's not cool. Can you just stop, girl, please? Stop. <laughs> what is she doing? I... That is not what I wanted you to do! Oh my gosh, she's seriously getting on my nerves. Is she going nuts? Is she going... Girl, you're meant to change into a costume. That was so weird. Cole was even weirded out by that. I think we're meant to be in a dance battle, but it just wasn't, it just, something weird was happening. Let's go and ask Psyche to do that. Uh, Artemis is still trying to talk to Oliver because he seems like the only nice person in town who's kind of willing to talk to him. I guess it's just feeling so bad after ditching her at the library. Uh, and now that he knows that she's, found the office he I guess wants to kind of know what she knows 
from that information from that room. Meanwhile, over here, we are about to maybe have a dance battle with Psyche, but my game is lagging hardcore right now. I don't know what is going on. Uh, everyone's driving though. Oh, look, there's somebody else here we haven't met. This is Hermia Canova. So we should probably introduce ourselves to her too, but oh man, my game is lagging so much. This is not fun. It's not fun when it's just this bad. No, I I think I might have to clean out my mods folder to try to like help this out, but it's just so dreadful right now. Okay guys, we are going to end this video before my game crashes or something. Before I go, I really, really want to share with you guys the comment of today, which is from Juliet Cummins. So she did notice, as a lot of you guys, that there is a secret door in the library Fortunately, the girls have not found out about that yet. I think Artemis is going to have to do some tidying before that goes on. Oh, look, they're going to do the dance battle. Please get this going, girls. Uh, so Juliet also says, I spent half the episode trying to see what was in the other room and she's not disappointed. Yay! I can't wait for the girls to find the secret staircase. It's going to be cool because it's like a little tower. Also, is Orion a fairy or a human dragon or something like that? I love you and thank you for the episode. I love you too, Juliet. So... You are sort of on the correct track. Oh, they're finally dancing. What is going on here, guys? What is going on? But yeah, they are definitely something different. Not vampires, so very excited to share with you guys in the future. Maybe with some more detective work, Artemis will be able to figure it out. Okay, see you later then. She's just way too tired to even bother. <laughs> Over here, Artemis is still chilling with Oliver. She's really grilling him, trying to find out any details, but she's trying to be casual, you know. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Goddess. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think Artemis got out of Oliver. I don't think Artemis would have a crush on Oliver at all. It's not that sort of thing. He's old enough to be her dad literally uh so maybe in the next episode we will go and pay them a visit so be on the lookout for that episode very very soon guys i hope you guys all have a fantastic day i love you all two bits and i'll see you all in another video very very soon goodbye